Hi, I'm Edie from Embroidery by Edith Ann. I want to show you today a new key fob that we are listing that is uh, stitched out on marine vinyl, which you can find at um, most Joanne Fabrics. Um, back when we were wearing masks, I had a mask that I like to wear that said, In God We Trust and had like the symbol of a flag on there. And I liked wearing that because it represented what I stood for. But now we're not wearing masks. So I decided to make a key fob that can be put on a purse or a keychain or a belt loop. Lots of different ways you can wear it. And I've made three different versions of that. This is the version that has the long strap and it close, when it closes up with a cam snap, it has a large hole here, a large opening to put it on a variety of things like a, a belt. And like I said, this does close with a cam snap. I'm going to show you how to put the cam snap on it here shortly. It also, this design also comes with an eyelet version if you don't have a cam snap or you don't want to get one and learn how to use it, which isn't that hard. Um, this one has an eyelet that gets put in during the, the stitch out. And then you just put one of these um, open rings through it, and then you can thread that onto different different things. Now we also have the short version. I think this is no, this is not the short version. This is the short version, and this one, if you want to put it on a, if you want to put a lobster call through it, which you could also do with the long version, but it isn't really necessary. But you can put a run a lobster claw through here onto the strap and then use the lobster claw, claw to attach it to your um, key ring. Now if you want to put this on a lobster claw you would just take either the long or the short version and open it up and put your lobster claw in there just like this and then close it back up. Now let's turn it, turn it the wrong way. You want to turn it this way so that when you close the strap up, after you hook the strap up, that the lobster claw is on top here. And so you can just snap this onto your key ring or anything else that you might want to wear it with. I'm going to show you the, the, the four pieces that you need to put your snap together. When you get your cam snap tool, you'll have a whole bunch of little packages of all different colors of the snaps so you can match up, coordinate, etc. And you'll also get an awl with it. Now, what you need are two caps, and a cap looks like this. And you need a male attachment, and you need a female attachment. So I've put it on this, let me, let me just rest them on my top of my arm here, how about, and that maybe you can see the contrast there. There's two caps, is that going to stay? Two caps, a female, and a male. We will now show you. So that. now I'm going to show you how you put the cam snap onto the, um, the marine vinyl shows you. So what you want to do next is now this is the long key fob and this is made like if you want to put it around a, a purse strap or a belt loop it's, it gives you a wider area. Now what you want to do is take your awl which comes with the cam snap and you want to make sure when you put your hole in here that and you're going to use a cap. You're going to, the first thing you're going to put in the top here is a cap that isn't going to be down too far. So you just want to make sure you can actually push that in there and make a little bit of an impression. And then take your awl and just push your awl in until it goes all the way through and makes a hole. Be very careful because this is a very sharp tool. Okay, set that aside. Now you're going to take your cap and you're going to put that in the hole. Now keep in mind that, and this is marine vinyl that we're working with, you want to push that down there best you can 
because you want that to go all the way through that vinyl. Then take your male attachment and you put that right over top so that the cap, um, what would that be? The little post of the cap, whoops, I was going to show you and it fell out. Um, so the post of the cap is in the center there. And then you get your cam snap tool and you make sure that the cap is right inside that black portion of the tool. Get that in there so that I can bring it up here to the camera. You don't want any of the cap showing. Get the, and then the top part, it goes over top of the male attachment and you squeeze as hard as you can. And I even will sometimes rest it on the table and push as hard as I can down on it. Now you can also buy uh, one of these that is not handheld. It actually goes onto your table. So you want to make sure that that post has spread out and is now holding the, that male attachment in there. I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure. Now I can see the cap a little bit, so I'm going to pull that over. Because you will actually, you can break that cap. I'm going to do it over here on a harder surface that I have. Okay, I think that's better. So now I have the first piece on. Now that's going to go right down here. What you want to do then is take it and push it down so that you get an impression. You am sure you can't see that, but I can see it. And you would see it if you're doing it on your own piece of vinyl. Push that down there again. You want to make sure it's centered. And then put your hole in there just like you did with the other piece. And now you also, with this one, there is going to be a cap. And both of the caps are going to be on this on the same side. So you put your cap in through the hole that you just made. And push it through so that you've got that post all the way through that vinyl. Take your female attachment and put that on into the post just like the other one and this is exactly like you did the first one make sure that you cannot see the cap and that you've got the top in here on top of the other piece the female and press that one I'm going to do it over here with the cameras off but I'm going to do it on this hard surface that I have so I can do it really hard and like I said, there is a, a cam snap tool that you can purchase and it, it actually hooks onto your table and it makes it easier. You don't have to have as much of a, of a grip on your hands. So now, as you can see, this is in there. So what we have, we have the two caps that are on the outside. And on the inside, you've got the male and the female, male, female. And now it will snap in just like that and now you this long one has a larger hole to it I hope this helps you in using your cam snap tool we have these available on our website at project resources where you can click on the link and we uh, have a have a link there we have some, some, quite a few products that we use in our in the hoop projects and they all, the majority of them go through Amazon, and we are an affiliate, so uh, we do make a small commission on that. So, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and I hope you find...